Hey, Thomas. Uh, so we're going to see you in a couple of days. I just want to, um, you know, we've been working on this project, talking mm. about doing something for mm. like, you know, after Walkman for mm. probably five years, maybe more. Yep. Um, and I'm really stoked that we get a chance to do these two new pieces next yep. week at, at Miller okay. Theater um, as part of the composer portraits. Um, so just, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Originally, you know, we were thinking of this as one big piece. Um, and now, you know, after all this time, it's split into two. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if you had thoughts on that and how that came about. Oh, I just think in the last few years, I've started, uh, maybe I've got to reconcile this, but I started working in two or three different manifests styles or was obsessed with two ideas two different types of musical ideas that i couldn't reconcile so i ended up writing two different types of music nice so, cool but i hope they're contrasting in the in the way that <laughs> concept yeah. program should be i mean yeah they totally are it's been really fun putting them together so far yeah well um, you've got different types of strategies as i thought that might be engaging too for the musicians over the course of the concert yep. playing the same composer but different pieces that they sort of involve different ways of playing right they are, yeah. They're different, like chamber styles. Actually, yeah. one is yeah. like kind of more like a band, <laughs> and grooving, and you don't even have to have too much eye contact or, or anything. Yeah. It's really you know monitor, and the rest is more chamber playing and listening closely yeah. in a yeah. in a more fluid way. So it's pretty interesting. The setup itself is growing <laughs> and bigger really? as the day goes. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're adding, you know, some color and things like that. But like even the piece, it starts off with a really huge instrumentation and setup. Um, how did oh, it you... is quite big. I never, I never did one of those daily '70s. <laughs> it's it's great. So it's I don't, don't actually know how big it's going to be. Like, how do you end? How did you end up with all those keyboards and all the the sounds and you know the instrumentation well i wanted to make, it was, it's i wanted to work off what i the way i worked off when i wrote you the first piece for your group in 2013 where i'd have the piano juxtaposed with the little four octave sampler or whatever so i, I wanted to have it's nice to have that technology i.e the flugel the pianoforte the grand piano acoustically what it does it's a beautiful piece of in, technology and then to juxtapose electronic sounds against that. Yeah. And so like with the children's TV music, obviously there's got to be 70s electromagnetic keyboards in there to reference that period of musical nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think playing off those types of things. Also then you've got the spatial, I mean, the way it works acoustically, the direct, like the direct, mm -hmm loudspeaker for the electronic keyboards versus the way in which sound emanates from the from the piano yeah so cool. and there's given that there's so much electronics backdrops the backdrop to it the, with the piano forte that always melds very very nicely directional speakers and yeah nice the live piano so cool um is there anything that you would want you know anyone who doesn't know anything about the program you know we've been so steeped in it um, is there anything you want to mention about the program or things you think people should know? I'm interested to see how it works. I mean, it's still a, and it, it's always a, mo there's, I, I feel there's an element of risk in what I've done, what I've written for you. Maybe that won't be perceived by the audience, but I still, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. it's risky. I'm getting, jumpy. <laughs> I'm getting a bit jumpy about it. So. That's great. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Um, Thank we'll see you at the studio in a couple of days and then, you know, looking forward to next week. Sweet. Thanks a lot. See you.